Welcome to another episode of UCRD Reviews. So today we're going to look at an older release. This one came out, uh, I believe, April or May of 2016. This is the MS-09 DOM version anime. We've looked at a lot of DOM variants, but I haven't actually reviewed the DOM itself. So that's what we're going to do today. So this figure came out a while ago. I picked this one up secondhand. And uh, it's a pretty cool mobile suit piloted by the Black Tri-Stars in Mobile Suit Gundam. We got to see the Dom in 8th MS Team, in uh, Zeta Gundam, and a lot of other shows. So it's a pretty famous design. And uh, I think it's the only mobile suit that was painted in Ace Colors and then mass-produced in the same Ace Colors, which is uh, really interesting. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we've seen the DOM in the MSIA line uh, that had both the regular DOM release and a second version. The regular release was actually um, both in America and Asia, and the second version was an Asian release. And then we saw it in the Xeonography line, I believe, and I think, I think that was it for figures. And now we have it in the uh, Robot Spirits line, which is pretty cool. So. Kind of like the Char's Rickdom, you know, head goes up that far, down about that far, can turn about, about to there before the back of the head starts to interfere, and then you can remove the uh, faceplate, and the eye is on a uh, ball joint. So it makes it really easy. Torso comes up, and uh, it can go downward about that far, and come backward about like that doesn't turn a whole lot as you can see well I'm a liar it'll actually do it 360 but that's the top of the torso and the bottom bottom gets caught up but it actually will do a full turn you have the little uh, um, mega particle cannon that flashes the enemies blinds them arms will go up quite far even with the uh, shoulder armor shoulder armor rotates um, it is rotatable here at the bicep and then you have really nice elbow articulation there the hands are um, ball jointed at the uh, at the wrist there and then there is some articulation in the arm that can they can move there which is pretty cool so going around the back you have the uh, hard point for the heat saber you have two movable uh, effect part compatible thrusters back there and then you have three down here that are uh, hinged that's your stand piece uh, these two side skirt armor pieces are hinged and the front is kind of like double hinged as well which is pretty cool and uh, no hard points anywhere on those though and so since we have the skirt armor open the legs have those funny version anime hip joints you do have hip rotation or thigh rotation there it can come up about that far which is pretty good for such a bulky figure and it'll come out almost straight out like that so quite a bit of articulation and then in the foot it is multi-jointed so it'll come down about that far it'll come up and out about like that you see the uh, uh, effect part compatible thrusters there and the hover pads there and the uh, toe will come out and they'll go side to side quite a bit as well so this is a very articulated figure and really 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 nice to have it, you know the the version anime stuff is a little plain looking I'm kinda hoping they do like a, a real marking version of it or something um, but it is a it is a nice looking figure. They've already made some variations of it. I know we have a real type version that came out that was an exclusive, and then of course there's all the other uh, like the Shars Rickdom and stuff that's a little bit different. And we'll take a look at the differences between this one and and that one as well. So let's uh let's take a look at what it comes with. So for some reason the Doms end up having a really weird set of hands. So this one's no different. You have the hand holder. You do have two 
uh, trigger hands, you have one heat saber hand for the right hand, and then you have two different posed left hands, one that's kind of a standard one that we get with most Robot Spirits figures, and this one's exclusive to this Dom, or at least, you know, it doesn't come with most figures where it's a really outstretched hand. And then you have the two hands that are together when uh, the Black Tristars slammed down that Medea and killed Matilda in the TV show. So you get these. You do get the uh, giant bazooka, which is the same one we've got with a million other figures at this point now. Um, you know, pretty standard stuff. This moves the front handle here spins around, the camera spins, and the trigger guard assembly will move downward like that. It is effect part compatible and the barrel and then this little flap will open up. That is effect part compatible. And this little piece goes into the side to simulate the uh, exhaust port opening up, which is pretty cool. You also get the heat saber and the little uh, holder for it. I mean, the problem with this one is uh, there's no active or deactive version. You just just get this. That is it. And that, that is pretty accurate to the Mobile Suit Gundam TV show, but it has since been retconned that there is a active deactive version of it. Usually it's blue, so it'll be yellow when it's uh, inactive, blue when it is, or sometimes the opposite, depending on what what you're watching. And uh, like in 8th MS Team, I believe it was white, and then it would turn orange, but, you know, a little bit of inconsistency there. But you get this piece, and lastly here, you actually get a piece for the Gundam, which is a shield that's been cut off to simulate the Gundam's battle with the Black Tri-Stars. So this is pretty interesting at least. So let's do some uh, some comparisons here. Alright, so we have the standard Dom, the prototype Dom, and Char's Rick Dom. So you know, the, the Dom was a ground pounder mobile suit. It wasn't uh, made for space initially. It was developed into the Rick Dom which uh, in the novel Char got his own custom version and this is actually what the Dom came from in terms of design this is the prototype to it so there are some pretty big differences this one here is definitely my favorite figure of the three sitting here but you can see it had the same basic design the feet weren't as big the uh, still had the hover units back there had a had single thrusters in the back instead of instead of a uh, three and on the back had a much larger backpack Oop, I'm getting my figures mixed up here had a much larger backpack than what the Dom ended up with much more simplistic design so really cool I like the color scheme of the prototype Dom and uh, I'm really glad that Robot Spirits made stuff like this because it's it's fun to see the differences in the designs, you know, in a 3D with a 3D model instead of just looking at pictures. It's it's really fun to look at all the differences. Now between these two figures here, big difference obviously the color and the markings. The backpacks are a little bit different. You see the Rickdom has larger thrusters, and then the feet are different. The Rickdom has standard thrusters instead of hover units. Other than that, they are pretty much identical. But I am glad to have all three. The Shars Rickdom has pretty much the same accessory list, minus the Gundam's shield, and then it has the Beam Bazooka as an added weapon. So uh, these two are quite rare and hard to find, but the uh, Dom here is not. It retailed, I believe, for about $58, and I only paid $50 for it, so I got a good deal out of it. So let's take a look at the uh, the Gundam shield real quick. 
So here we have a little action shot of the uh, shield for the Gundam. You do have to use the handle that comes with the Gundam. The shield doesn't have that. So you attach the handle to it and it's easily usable. It does not use the ball jointed parts like the arm connector or anything. It's just the regular handle. And then the Dom's jointed hands or joined hands works perfect. You just attach them both to the arms and you're good to go and you can make all kinds of poses with them and all we need is a robot spirits Medea and the whole set will be complete. So the robot spirits Dom is a significant improvement over previous releases. Now it should be because it's been several years since we've had a Dom figure. This basic format as you saw in the comparisons was used for many different figures including some I didn't show like the Dom Tropical Test Type and the uh, Real Type Dom which is a really cool variant that I unfortunately don't own but it is it's a solid base figure. The accessories are a little uh, little scarce you know they, I think they could have got creative with the heat saber and given us a deactive blade or, or an active you know a blue blade and it comes with no effect parts which is unfortunate and became a trend with Dom releases where most of them didn't have any sort of effect parts even though they were all in the version anime line other than that it's a good figure it's a regular release so it's not crazy expensive now, just like any other figure, it can become crazy expensive when you least expect it. So, because this is an older release, if this is one you're looking for, I'd pick it up before it becomes scarce. So, thank you for watching the review. Hopefully, the next thing that pops up that I review will be a variation of the Dom. The uh, Rick Dom 2 is coming out soon, so or it's already out, I'm just waiting for it to arrive. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have the Dom and what you think of it or any of its variations. And uh, thanks for supporting the channel, and I'll see you next time.